Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to share with you guys my little area that I have. Once you go inside my my little man cave, um, I got a little patio area just for sometimes, you know, just to hang out outside. Got a little patio. Got my dog right there just chilling, a little sofa area, some synthetic grass. And then this is the entrance to the side of my garage, which is the entrance to my man cave. I got a little coat set up in here, and this is the the entrance. This is once you go in. This is what you first see. Just um, a bunch of things that I put together in here, but that is where I cut hair. I recently bought these hexagon lights. Shout out to my boy for helping me install them. Um. But yeah, I get. I, I decided to get these lights because it's it's gonna give it a different lighting for a lot of upcoming things that I'm trying to do. You know, I'm trying to do this YouTube. Eventually, I want to make videos. I want to get the hang of it. So why not invest in your craft and get some better lighting in here for all that stuff and for the better my haircuts too. But yeah, this is a bathroom that I uh, recently built about uh five months ago. Shout out to my boy. Um, pretty simple restroom, you know. I got a whole shower in here, though. Uh, a toilet, a nice little mirror with a sink, nice wooden floor. Got a little weight scale just to check how much you weigh after using the restroom. No, I'm just joking. But I got a weight scale in there for some reason. I mean, shit. That way you guys know how much you weigh. I don't know. At all times, every time you get a haircut. <laughs> but yeah, I got a. Uh, my little bar table right here that I got off Bob's Furniture. I saw this thing and I instantly had to buy it for some reason. I, I love bike riding and having a little bar table is pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, Yeah, just showing you guys right here. I got some ring lights. I don't necessarily need to use them, but, you know, it does help, again, for a better picture, a better video of a haircut or whatever you know i got enough lighting with the hexagon lights but you know they're there in case whether you use them or not i like to use them just because i like to be extra detail and stuff so this is my workstation i have two stations this is one of them where i have all my gels and all the products i use on my clients my clipper station where i put my guards right here i got a little i got a few things like products that i sell random remotes little plan I had on top that's just one side of my my little station you know turning off the hexagon lines you can see a different setting in here that is just my garage lights um, I have these lights on a dimmer though so I can dim them at any time and I'll show you guys so right there is one like bright low bright and low I like to normally keep them around this much when I'm watching like a movie or I'm lounging around. Of course, there's light in the window that peeks in, so it's not that bright, but it's nice and dim. But I'm going to have them off. Some other little battery-operated lights I have that gives it a nice little yellow tone, and you can see the little pictures. A little $100 mat. Oh, we balling up in here. <laughs> this is a, a little man cave sign that I got on Amazon. Yep. A lot of people trip out when I say I got this shit on Amazon, man. You get a lot of things in there. Some lights I put under this um, little bike bar. They didn't come with a bar, but I bought them on Amazon. I got ideas. I don't know how. And uh, I thought uh, about getting it so it can really show the bike in a setting like this. See? You can actually see it. I'm going to move this chair out of the way, though, because it's kind of ruining the picture. By the way, gaming chair right there. Got a little air purifier just because, you know, we want to make sure this air we're breathing in here is clean and filtered. But, yep. This is my little setup. It's a little blurry. I'm going to, let me see. There we go. This is my little bar bar area i guess you can say um yep you can change the color on these lights 
they change colors. I, I normally just keep it at that yellow one just because I don't really want to show the color. I just want to show what I what I'm really trying to show is the bike under the bar table. So but anyways, uh, for some reason, I put it on green. It does not go with my color scheme right here at all. <laughs> but, you know, basically you can put it at any color. Pretty cool. I got those lights on Amazon too. I get a lot of things on Amazon. But yep, turning them off just so I don't need them on right now. I just wanted to show them with you guys. They are battery operated, so you kind of only tend to use them when you really need to show them off. That's my PS5 right there. You know, we all game up in here. FIFA. Yeah, I'm just pointing at the cables because. That's something, that's one of my next projects is to find a way of cable managing that shit. Man, it looks bad. But we're going to get that fixed, no problem. Got another little light right here. I have a fan. It's cold in here, but I want to turn this on just so you guys can see that I got a fan. Just because, I have an AC unit in here, by the way. It's a mini split, but I like to have a fan in here too. Sometimes it can be an igloo in here. It's really, really cold, and it feels nice on a hot summer day. So. I like to have a fan too, so there there can be some airflow in here, and yeah. But uh, this is a setting that I really don't use. I don't really use this light, but I have one just in case. So just showing you guys that I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna turn off this fan because it's cold. I don't like to keep everything on in here if I don't need to, because as you see, I got a lot of shit in here, a lot of electricity that I use in here, you know, just so I can have a nice little vibe in here. But yeah. Those are some jerseys that I picked off of my friend. A shout out to my boy. He sells jerseys out here in the Paris area. Pretty cool. Good prices. But yeah, this is my uh, my little area. This is my man cave, guys. This is where I have haircuts, little events, um, you know, barbecues, whatever, you name it. I got two TVs in here, guys. I don't need two TVs, but I'm just being extra. This right here is a, a little vanity that I picked off of some lady online. Um, yeah, it is a woman's vanity. But uh, it's cool because some clients like to take a picture of themselves after their haircut. And that's a nice little mirror they can use with a little vanity lights. So their picture can come out nice and clean. You know, so I really don't use those. I don't really leave them on. Because, again, I got those hexagon lights recently, so, but it's just there. Basically, what I'm trying to show you guys is all the different lightings that I can have in this place. Those LED strips I have going along the wall, they always stay on for the most part because, um, I don't know, it's all good. I wanted to keep some type of dim light in here if I could. But, yeah, that's showing you guys that. I'm going to go ahead and turn these off, though. That I was just showing you guys. Like, see, this is how it looks. Again, this is how you turn them off. Just twist the knob, and they're off. But, yep, this is my setup. I got a little barber pole right there for a nice little look. Give it a little barbershop look. Got my little window right there. I'm telling you, I'm recording this at 4 o'clock, so it's still sunny out there. You know, for those of me who know me, you guys know I love lions. Found this at, I think, Burlington. My girl got it for me, and she knows I love lions, and she got me that. Little man cave cuts, my little logo that I made recently. I got a whole banner on on my logo. <laughs> you guys won't believe where I got it. Amazon. Yep. If you guys need the link to any of the stuff I have in here, just let me know. I can send it to you. Yeah, I don't need this barber pool barber pull on all the time so i just turned it off just showing you how i turn it on and off i got a price list right here for all my new clients that come in um i'm gonna share with you guys this station real quick let me turn on the light this right here is my charging station this is where all my a1 clippers stay at the ones that i run with every single day um this is where i have them at i have them on stand up wireless chargers well, the, the the stand itself is wired, but my clippers are wireless, so I have them standing all right here. 
These are my go-to clippers. I got a little wireless charging pad for my phone while I'm cutting hair. But yeah, right here I got my scissors. I mean, my shears. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was I going to say scissors? No. Us barbers, we call it shears. I got my combs and my razor blades. Got a bunch of extra clippers that I have. I still use, but it's good to have different types of clippers. Um, I just got these two. They're going to be here for right now until I break them in. You know what I'm saying? But a bunch of different things in here. I got an air compressor right here to dust off all the hair that gets thrown on this floor. I like to use this thing after a haircut or a, or a couple haircuts. Just kind of dust all the hairs out of the way and then sweep up the hairs into the vacuum that I have that picks it up for me. A lot of technology in here, brother. Again, showing you guys my my mini fridge right here. This is around my clients. Feel free to grab a beer, water, juice, soda, whatever. Happy Dad, seltzers. I got it all, man. And they all know they're free to grab. That's part of my spot. Right here, I'm just showing you guys my tripod. Um, I recently got this thing. I had another one. I didn't like it. It wasn't what I expected, but I got this one, and I like it so far. This is what I used to record my videos, my content that I do on Instagram that I'm slowly going to start doing on YouTube. And, well, yeah. That's that. Bunch of picture frames I picked up off of TJ. So I see a little... Uh, with all the schools that you see right there to the right. Some of them were gifts. Some of these uh, picture frames, guys, they were gifts from clients and a lot of picture frames in here. A lot of things in here, too, not just picture frames or, or things that I got from my clients. You know, shout out to them. They know who they are. Again, I'm showing you guys, I think I was showing you guys real quick the two TVs I have. Again, it's not necessary, but I like to have it, again, on events and certain things pretty cool feels like you're at a sports bar or something you know but there i go turning off the lights again this is like the darkest setting you can have because everything's practically off i got some stars in here these glow in the dark um it's pretty neat when it's really really dark in here again the window is open and i don't have any blind uh covers or whatever so it's still kind of bright but you can see that these little stars glow in the night Glow in the dark sometimes, and it, and it looks pretty nice. Really, really nice look. It's like you're at a little galaxy or some shit, you know, and you're watching a movie. It's pretty cool, whatever. I'm trying to show you guys my uh, Bud Light little mini fridge. I don't know. I guess I was trying to point at the little Bud Light sign, but it was too, too exposed. Yeah, that's not going to work. So, yeah, that's a little vacuum I had right there. Going back outside of my man cave slash garage, out the screen door, as you guys see, synthetic grass, my little Barcelona table, little bar table, little sofa, little plants, little basketball court, TV, tool chest, my dog chilling under my uh, my beer coolers, you know, my yelera. Look on, man. But, yep, my little sofa, mountain bike. I picked up last year and customized and whatnot. And yep, that's basically it. This is what my clients look like, or what it looks like when they walk out. Boom, out to the street. And yep, I got a little screen door right here for the summertime. Sometimes I like to keep some airflow in here in the nighttime. But that's my spot, guys. What happens here stays here. So that's it. That's my man cave. Like I said, I wanted to share it with you guys just because a lot of people don't know what I have here. And so why not share it with you guys? I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.